Hello everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how to create page template in Confluence Cloud. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo, a company that builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud. One of their plug and play apps, Swanly, is a comprehensive project management tool that offers easy centralized access to information across Jira projects and teams so you can maximize efficiency while planning and tracking work. Check the link or description below for more. So let's get started. So in order to create a page template, you simply have to go to the space in which you want to create the page template. Now, what is the difference between the page template and the global template that we have understood in the last tutorial? The global template is available to all the spaces within your Confluence instance, but page template is specific to the space in which you create that particular template. Now, say for example, there is a space in which you want to create very specific template, which is just relevant to that particular space. You can go ahead and create a space template within that space. But if there is a template which is common across all the spaces within your Confluence instance, it's better to go for a global template. Okay, so to create a space template, simply go to the spaces and go to the space where you want to create the space template or the page template. So I'll say, for example, I want to create a template in RCV Academy knowledge base space. I'll click on that and then go to the space settings and you need to be space admin to create the space template. All right. So once you are the space admin, you can go to the space settings, go to content tools and in the content tools, you will find the button here to create a new template, right? So you have these blueprint templates which are the built-in templates or the available out of the box templates but to create a custom template you can simply click on this create new template all right so it will open the layout which will be very similar to the page layout as you see the page layout in the confluence but this will be at the template right so as you can see here in this particular space there is this is the template now you simply provide the page title for the template and what i'll do is i'll simply refer to this particular onboarding employee onboarding form here and let's try to replicate some of the fields of this particular employee onboarding form now say for example employee onboarding form there is a space of it support or it admins who basically provide the desktop or the software and hardware configurations to the new employees so for that particular space they want to capture all the new employee information through this particular template right so what you can do is for that particular space you can go and you can say i just provide new employee so I'll provide the name as new employee information. Whenever some new employee joins, they should provide the information here using this particular template so that the IT department who is managing the software and hardware requirement, they can, whenever somebody submits, they can basically look into the form and provide those details, right? So if this is the process within your organization, you can use this template for that particular space. Now, in order to create that form here, so it has the name, it has the position and the phone number, right? So let me replicate some of the fields here. So say for example here, I will just mention a heading first. So please provide the following information. All right. So just dummy, I'll center it here. And then say for example, I want to capture the information. So first name, last name, etc. So I'll create a table in that particular case. Let me just remove one of the column and then align a table a little bit like this. And what I'll do is I'll make the header as column instead of the row and uncheck this header row. Okay. So here I will mention name to ask the employee to enter the name and i'll make this name as heading two or heading three whatever okay and then i'll ask for the department right so employee should provide the department as well and then here you have this placeholder thing as well right so if you just say placeholder text what this will display is this will display a text whenever somebody is filling the information whenever somebody is editing this particular form so say for example i want to display here as a placeholder text i want to display please enter your full name so that person who is filling the this particular form they enter their full name all right then here if i want to have the placeholder text i'll say please enter your department 
right and hit enter and this text will be displayed as a placeholder text when somebody is editing this particular form when somebody is edited and submitted the form then it won't be displayed right what is the next thing phone number let's say put phone number here and i will change this department to h2 as well not h2 sorry s3 and then phone number now in the phone number i want to specify that person always specifies or mentions the mobile number so i'll just mention the placeholder text there so that person knows which phone number they have to provide right so i'll say in the placeholder text i'll mention please provide your mobile number and hit enter okay so now person will see that what he has to basically provide in the name in the department and the phone number right in the phone number they don't have to provide the landline number they'll see that this is the message they'll provide the mobile number okay so this bit is done now say for example the next thing i'll skip all of these next thing they want to specify about the equipment preferences laptop mouse preference etc so let's put that as well okay now say for example here i want to say equipment equipment required right and in the equipment required let me change it to heading 2 and i will use the variable in this case all right so variables help you to select the values right so if i use the variable i can specify the pre-existing value so for say for example in the equipment if you see here there are there is mac and windows so i can there are two options so i can say os required right or operating system required and i'll say mac comma windows so whichever is required by that by that particular person or the new employee they can select that from this particular list right so this list will be displayed and we'll see that when it's prefer uh, when it's finished and then similarly mouse and keyboard preference so we can say mouse preference and let me change it to h2 as well and we'll have the list here as well so i'll say variable and in the variable i'll say wired or wireless okay so i'll say mouse preference and then in the list i'll mention wired or wireless okay so something like that so here i'll change it to what is your preferred equipment all right and then here i'll make it a statement here so what is your preferred mouse all right now similarly you will keep going ahead and update this particular template once this template is complete what you simply have to do is you simply have to click on save right so once this particular template is saved you will see that user create template has this particular template available here and there are certain options so i can provide the description so i'll say use this template for new employee requests all right and save it so that any person who is looking at this particular template can see what exactly this template is all about once you save it this description is available the next thing is if you promote this particular template this promote option is important to understand so promoter templates display at the top of the create dialog and if you don't promote then they'll be available but they'll be collapsed right so if i i'll promote they'll be created at the top of the create a dialogue so I, I won't promote it but if you want to list them or these templates at the top simply click on promote and promote these templates all right now once this template has been created now say for example i want to create a page so i'll go to the page right or in in the pages right and i'll click on create once you click on create then you will see the space because we were in the rcvk admin knowledge base space already the space will be selected here and here you will see that we have this custom right so if i click on custom you will see that new employee information template is available here okay and if i switch to any other space say for example documentation demo space in the custom that new employee information is not available right so that is why this is space template it is specific to a particular space where you have created this particular template so it is available in the rcv academy knowledge base so let's pick this one new employee information and click on this right so as soon as i'll click on this new employee information you will see that it is displaying that this template uses variables and these are the variables that are there that have been used and these variables once we fill these right so because of the variable uh, the person whosoever is filling it 
can see what all options are there so that they do not provide the options which company doesn't provide right so company provides only windows and mac so you can restrict that here in the template itself later they can edit in page that's a different story but this is good practice that they know that these are the only two options so if they are editing in future on the page that's irrelevant relevant information so if say for example person requires windows and the mouse preference is wireless they'll select that and simply click on create and once they'll click on create you will see the placeholder text is appearing here right so they haven't submitted this form yet or saved this form yet uh, this page yet so they'll see the placeholder text and that's where placeholder text plays a very very important role so now they'll read this text and they'll see that yes we have to enter the full name here so say for example they'll enter their name i'll enter my name here and then you'll see placeholder text is no more there and then department they'll enter and then the number so whatever number you want to enter so they'll enter that particular number there and they will simply provide say for example page title i'll just provide the name or the employee id whatever naming structure uh, or the formatting has been finalized they will simply provide that say for example emp id whatever id so your name or employee id followed by the name that should be the name of your or the the title of your page simply provide that say for example some dummy employee id and then just publish and then this particular page will be saved right so say for example there are there is a folder or there is a page wherein you create all these employee pages and once these pages are submitted the it department will see that this is the new person who has been onboarded these are the details here this these are their preferences in terms of hardware and software and they can work out on this particular request so this will be really easy to manage within con Influence, right so usually there are many other tools wherein people wherein companies manage these sort of requests but within confluence i'm just trying to explain how you can use the templates and try to build up these sort of capabilities within confluence as well and then all about the page templates or how to create the templates within confluence so that's all pretty much about the page templates in confluence and how to create the templates in confluence cloud i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching